The country's nationwide distribution of free long-lasting insecticide mosquito nets has received positive review from donors for efforts in combating a killer of men in the country, malaria. And because we have done very well in the distribution, we have been allocated another one million nets free by the, the manufacturer. Even better news in this fight is the fact that more money from the Global Fund is expected. We have already submitted a proposal for malaria for $191 million. This is part of the over 420 million US dollars by the Global Fund's new funding model allocated to Uganda earlier this year to help the country care for sufferers of the main infectious diseases, malaria, HIV and TB. Professor Vinand Nantulia, the chair for the country coordinating mechanism CCM tasked to write proposals for the country, says the funds for HIV and TB will be asked for jointly in October. We want the, the, the application to be pretty ambitious because for the HIV AIDS, we have gone in very strongly since uh, over the last three years. In 2011, new HIV infections were very high at about 170,000 but they dropped to 137,000 by the end of 2013. That money is going to do both the treatment and the care and support for those who are already infected. That money is going to be used for the prevention. That money is going to be used for support to the, to the orphans and vulnerable children. About 15 million US dollars was previously offered by the Global Fund to fight TB in the country. Communities should fully participate in the management and deliver of health care to themselves. The supply will behave if the demand side raises questions. But the, in Uganda, I find the population is rather docile. By the end of October, a proposal under the health system strengthening will also be submitted. It's about 11% from each program was put together to help to strengthen the system that these programs need. Florence Alimba,